Frank's books on religion and his commentary on politics are a great example of the position that the only proper way of thinking is almost halfway between two points. Uh, he uses the word atheist fundamentalism, for example, many times. I don't know what that is. Fundamentalism, as far as I know, uh, is based is a, a extreme form of religion. Be belief based on belief in sacred text. Now, what what many people who are I call anti-atheists have suggested is that we have sacred texts too. And I guess Richard Dawkins is the Pope. Well, I was gonna I'm, say here, I'm here to tell you we don't have sacred texts. I've, for instance, agreed with Richard, disagreed with Richard Dawkins many times, mm -hmm. for example, in his attitude toward moderate religion, mm -hmm. which he sees as almost as bad as religious fundamentalism. Richard Dawkins. I don't agree, I don't agree well, with just that. Just to fill people in, Richard Dawkins the guy who, who the, 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 one of the atheists who's very well known in Europe, less well known here, you make yeah. the case in your book, you mention him, that power isn't equal because he doesn't get a hearing here that he does in Europe. Well, first of all, atheists are getting more of a hearing, but, but he is more importantly an evolutionary biologist. Mm -hmm. right. and, all the, and the reason why uh, people like Frank are quite wrong in saying that atheism is a religion is that, that the fact is, I've disagreed with Richard Dawkins publicly on a number of occasions, and he gave a beautiful endorsement Endorsement to the British edition of the Age of American Unreason. I wouldn't say think the Pope would do that to any Catholic dissenters. Mm. So that's not the way atheism works. Frank. Well, let's put it this way: until I had a chapter in Patience with God, um, Faith for People Who Don't Like Religion or Atheism about Richard Dawkins, which he didn't like, I would get mentioned on his website very favorably quite often because of my insider's critique of religion, which I also have in this book. And I just want to clarify a point because we don't disagree as much as you think. Um, I have a whole chapter, for instance, in Patience with God on how much I like Daniel Dennett, respect his work, how much I, I, I believe that the tenets of atheism as put forward by people like Hume and, uh, and Spinoza and others are, are something that I, I completely and wholeheartedly either agree with or respect. Mm -hmm. My quibble in Patience with God is very specifically with an evangelistic type of technique that seats converts, and all I do is say uh, a, a little bit humorously yeah. that this reminds me of my evangelist mother going around handing out tracts. Dawkins has a website that has a converts corner. He sells something called the Atheist Pin so that it'll give you a chance to have conversations with people. People write in and say, oh, I had three great conversations. Somebody changed their mind. But actually, my critique in terms of what's dangerous to America mm. is not the new atheists, who I think are very innocuous and often reasonable people, even, even the ones I disagree with, but the far-right religious groups this fundamentalist curiosity about the so-called end times, when Jesus will come back, uh, the rapture, all this stuff, this, this, this fascination with the apocalypse, basically loves war in the Middle East because it'll, it'll fulfill prophecy. These are truly dangerous fanatics. Well